You know, they never ask me to say grace. And that's a shame because I feel like I'd be good at it. Right? Like they usually only scratch the surface of the terrible shit God didn't do to them. Dear God, thanks for us not starving or otherwise getting killed, basically. But if I said grace, I'd shade in a lot of the blank space there, right? Like, dear God, thanks for keeping me relatively clear of venereal disease again this year is a phenomenal opening for grace. But my family's never going to know that because they're never going to ask me to fucking say it. Instead, I got to listen to my brother belt it out again this year. And I got to say, that's one of those things that gets way creepier if you take it seriously. Right. And, and that's the opposite of most religious traditions for me. Most of the time when I reflect on a religious tradition, I have to remind myself that these people actually believe this nonsense. And then it's a little less creepy. But saying grace is the exact opposite. The more real God is, the weirder it is to thank him for the food you bought. Like, like if there's no God, spoiler, there isn't then saying grace is just a token gesture of humility. It's, it's a moment that you set aside at the beginning of a meal to remind yourself that not everybody is as fortunate as you. And even though some of them work every bit as hard or harder than yourself, they're not going to sit down at as bountiful a table as you today. And, and I can find some merit in that. But if God did exist, this would all just be a means of forestalling a creepy and unwarranted ahem. I mean, look at it this way. When I was a kid, my dad provided all the food and yet I pretty much never thanked him for it. What's more, he didn't get all bent out of the shape by the fact that I didn't. It was just kind of understood that one of the basic elements of parenting was me eating on a daily basis. Now, would have been awfully thoughtful for me to occasionally say, hey, dad, thanks for busting your ass 40 hours a week plus to make this meatloaf happen on the regular. But it would have been really fucked up for him to get pissed off at me for not saying it every goddamn night that is. And that's to a guy who actually bought the fucking food. Right? God didn't buy it. What are we thanking God for? Not turning it to dust in the grocery bag? Seems like the least he could do is let you eat the food you bought. God wanting thanks for that food would be like the, the guy who owns the local grocery store showing up at your house at 559 and complaining about your lack of gratitude. It's not like God's swooping down and picking up the tab now and again. Apparently, he's demanding that we thank him for food existing. I mean, I, I guess I could be more forgiving if they were at least consistent with it, right? Like when a Christian family is going hungry in some war-torn country, they don't generally sit around a table and bitch at God for a few minutes at 6 p.m. But if they did, I'd at least admire their integrity. But no, once again, it's only God's fault when it's a good thing. So yeah, that's what's swimming through my head as my brother's invoking the will of the almighty creator of the universe to bless the sweet potato casserole. So as frustrating as it is, I guess I get why they never ask me to say it. But just because my family has failed to entrust this task to me for 43 Thanksgivings and counting doesn't mean I can't do it. So with your indulgence, allow me to say grace. If you guys could all join hands, it's going to take a minute. And, and preferably also, if you could like put something that smells really good in front of you that you've been looking forward to eating all day and just you know, not eat it until I decide to stop talking. That would really nail the custom. Okay, all set. Here we go. Dear God, thank you for overlooking us when you were deciding which people to starve to death today. I know you got to starve some of them, and it turns out it's not us. I'm not sure why you would pick us to shower such abundance on. After all, with the exception of me, my wife, and a couple of these kids, my whole family's fucking fat. We're really one of those families that can stand to skip a meal. And yet, in your wisdom, you decided to gift us with so much food that we're going to throw a bunch of it away even after we fed a bunch of it to the dog. And you decided to deprive all of those developing children in Yemen again instead. Weird. Keep feeling like one of these days you're going to go the other way on that, but you keep not doing it. You keep looking out for the upper middle class white people in America so well. Good on you, God. And also... Well, I got you on the horn. I want to thank you for all of us not being dead. I mean, it's not like I come from a long line of immortals. Obviously, some members of my family are dead, but they're not here. So I'm specifically only thanking you for not killing the ones that you didn't kill. We know that there are a lot of ways for you to kill us, especially since we elected to gather together in Texas this year and they build nurseries on top of nuclear plants here, but you decided not to kill us. And of course, eventually you'll change your tune on that. And when that happens, we're just going to switch to thanking you for not killing a smaller group of people. And it probably won't even occur to most of us how fucked up that is. Anyway, we got to take a bunch of pictures of us gorging on our gluttonous abundance so that we can later hashtag them. Suck on it. Yemen. Yeah, All right, maybe next year.